Hey there, welcome to ProTech. Today we'd like to share a video from Dylan at the Random Automotive on how to determine the cause of a malfunctioning temperature gauge. Let's take a look. Hey guys, Dylan with the Random Automotive and I got a quick tech tip for you. I'm here with my 1971 Ford Torino 500 and my temperature gauge isn't working. So, how do you figure it out? Well, on an older car, it's actually pretty simple. You have three major components. You have your temperature gauge, you have your temperature sending wire and connector, and your temperature sender itself. So how do you test what's working and what's not? Well, first, pop your connector off and ground it. Put it to anything that'll touch the metal. Now, go over to the interior of your car, turn the auxiliary power on, and your temperature gauge should creep up to hot. If it does, you know your gauge and your connector are good. If it doesn't, well, then your temperature gauge and your wire are not good. So if it goes up, it's your sending unit. Easy to fix, cheap part. If it doesn't, start by tracing your wire. Look at your connectors. Your connector good? Is it clean? Are there any frays in the wire? You're gonna have to open up your harness and check, so it's a little bit labor intensive. As you can see on mine, the connector's kind of melted and the wire's frayed. The engine did catch on fire, but it still works. I'm gonna replace it anyway because the part was less than $2. Now, if your wire looks good, it's probably your gauge. That's gonna be a little bit harder because you have to open up your dash and things like that, but it is doable and it's easy to tell what's working and what's not. So there you have it, guys. Really easy to tell what's causing your temperature gauge to not work. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.